So, earlier today, I did two reviews of mods of Sony headphones, and keeping in line with that trend that we've got going today, we're going to do yet another Sony headphone. Let's move this. As you can tell, this is the most expensive of the three, the most recent of the three, and is it is the Sony MDR-Z7s. Now, I'm going to talk mainly about mods I've done for this headphone. But to give you a quick rundown of what this headphone sounds like, a lot of people um, seem divided in terms of whether they like or hate this headphone. I'm in the camp of I like it because these provide a different sound to what most audiophile full-sized headphones provide. And that is a very warm, very expansive and grand sounding signature. And I think that any headphone can sound very analytical when, when you come up to, you know, 800, 700 AUD. But very few headphones around that range has this sort of relaxing sound signature. And I think that this is a great move by Sony. Um, however, that being said, there are flaws to the sound. While I love the rolled off highs, but still retaining a little energy, and the mids are decent, the bass is very, very punchy, very fun, very powerful. However, somehow, the bass still maintains a sort of separation. Um, it sounds like there's a separate drummer in your head. However, when you crank up the volume, that separation kind of reduces and you get bass bleeding into mids and that kind of ruins experience a little bit. And the bass can be a little overpowering for some, especially given that the mids and the treble aren't as pronounced, for sure. Now, build quality wise, this is probably the best you're gonna get in this price range. Magnesium cup with plastic cover. Um, got very nice metal sliders, very thick and very chunky um, headband, uh, metal of course, and headband again is a head shape. So Sony seems to know how to make their headbands comfortable. So you're not gonna have any comfort issues with this. And of course, pads, although not memory foam, very thick, very plush, you're not gonna have issues. And ear size shape, cool. Now, the main thing I noticed with these headphones is I didn't really want to cut down the bass because I wanted a bassy headphone. But if you wanted to cut down the bass, then what you would do is simply cover up part of this port when you open up your headphones. So to open up the headphones, there's a few things you have to do. First of all, now I've already done this, but when you take off your cups, you can't take it off like with rotation like I just did. There's a small screw that you have to lift up your actual pad to expose and you need to unscrew that. Now, I have to warn you to be very careful while you're doing that because I've almost stabbed my driver a few times when I was doing that and uh, nearly gave me a heart attack. I, was at, I did spend a lot of money on this headphone, so definitely please don't do that. Now, pads. First of all, let's start with the bottom down. Sorry, let's start with the pads in terms of money. As you can see here, what I've done is I've placed some foam in there. And that foam is simply there to help improve the sound stage. Now, granted, the sound stage is already massive on these, but by improving even further, we're further improving separation and the sort of grand, de the grand kind of huge sound that these give. Now, very price, very um cost efficient. All I did was get this sort of foam and cut out a few chunks um, and put them along the sides. Now, I have to warn you to be careful because again, there are some vents here and here that you don't want to cover with those foam bits. And when you are um, disassembling it, I recommend you uh, take a screwdriver to these two screws here unscrew them and this whole kind of cup should come loose and make it very easy to mod. Now, as you can see here, my uh, my kind of driver protection is just hanging by a thread. And the reason is I've actually taken off the original protection because I noticed there was a small piece of uh, kind of felt along this central 
part of the driver. And I noticed that, you know, with felt you have uh, in front of drivers, there's a trend of basically anything in front of drivers, there's a trend of those things reducing the treble energy. And the treble energy isn't huge on these. So I wanted to give it a little more sparkle. So I took these off and that definitely opened up the treble for me. I think this small piece of foam, sorry, I felt that was here originally, makes a huge difference for the sound. And I don't know why they put it on there originally. After I took it off, I felt like I was hearing what the people who tuned this headphone intended for these to sound like. It was that much of a difference. I simply don't know why. Now, after you've done that, which is, which again, be very careful because while you're cutting the foam off, so you're cutting the protective kind of gauze layer off, you don't want to stab your drivers. Again, modding the Z7s, the key thing to watch out for is to not stab your drivers. Okay, now, I wish I had a little more room to show you guys this, but basically, um, let's, let's do that. Okay, so that's better. So what we want to do, which I'm not gonna do on camera right now, um, or maybe I might, who knows, or maybe not. What you wanna do is you wanna take these screws off. Six of them. Yeah, six of them. And what you're gonna find, similar to the um, MDR, uh, 10, MDR 10Rs and the MDR 1Rs, is you're gonna notice that back has no felt, no padding, no nothing, no, no, no kind of foam, nothing to absorb sound where it's bouncing off. And the muddy treble at higher volumes is probably a result of that. So you have two options. You can either use, again, trust the old surgical tape, or you can use this sort of foam and cut out a thin layer and put it in the back. Now, I personally like surgical tape more because uh, although it doesn't control the base, it doesn't make as huge of a difference to the base control as this foam. This avoids the uh, reduction of the sound stage and also has an added advantage of being very good at cutting out the um, uh, any ringing in the upper mids and the highs, which there isn't much of anyway, but that's still nice to have in there. So again, surgical tape is fine. Put that in, do a nice good old line around. The back of the driver, um, any plastic parts, which is not vents, uh, try to tape on that. Any any other exposed plastic areas, the general rule of thumb is just tape. And after you've done that, um, you can screw things back on and put on your cups. Now, what I would recommend is after you've removed the screws, uh, which is around here somewhere, there's a screw basically which I had to unscrew when I take when I took off the pads for the first time. Never put that screw back in because then because there, there really is no need for it. I mean because after you put your cups back, it just basically oh dear, there you go. Ah no. So after you put your cups back, um, which I seem to have trouble doing at the moment, there we go. All you need to do is just slide and it just clicks into place um, and it stays in place perfectly. There's no need for that extra screw there. It just makes some, um, you know, taking your headphones back apart again very hard. Now, again, as I said earlier, when you take off the uh, driver, it will expose the inside of this vent here. Um, there's a vent up top which you do not want to touch. Now, but the vent down here, if you find things too bassy, I'd recommend you get a small piece of surgical tape or plastic tape or something and tape part of this vent, especially consider taping the, the small hole that's here. If you, if, you, if you look from the other side of the vent, you'll see there's a small hole where more air is coming through. Tape that and you should get a base reduction. But if you don't mind the base like me, then don't tape it. Just put tape around every other plastic bit to make it more punchy and more controlled. And there you go. That's your Z7 mods. And after this mod, um, that series of mods actually, especially the felt mod, 
I thought that, that made the uh, biggest difference. Maybe that was one of the last, maybe it was placebo effect. I have no idea, but I like the highs a lot more now. I fact they're a lot more sparkly. The upper mids, um, I guess, raised a little bit, but the highs are the biggest benefit from that uh, removal of the felt. So I definitely recommend doing that. Um, if you really wanted to, you can take the piece of felt back on if you don't like the highs afterwards. But you know, it's up to you. I personally don't understand why you would. So again, um, definitely recommend this pair of headphones. Um, it's, it complements um, a lot of different headphones you can choose at that price range. I think that's one of the unique qualities. Um, this is not competing with a lot of the other headphones in this price range simply by virtue of it sounds a lot different. It's not the same as the HD 800s or HD 600s because it's not analytical. It's not the HD 650 because this is a very much a bassy headphone instead of a mid-oriented headphone. But if you've ever liked electronic, electronic music, orchestral music, well, that sort of thing, this works wonders because orchestra, anything that needs, you want to sound grand and powerful, these will do the job just fine. And there we go.